PolarCataractCoach.com. How is an anterior polar cataract different? We talk all the time about posterior polar cataracts. There are dozens of videos of that on Cataract Coach. What's anterior polar? Well, you can see there it is. Like the name implies, anterior polar is this polar opacity on the anterior lens capsule. And you know what? That's certainly not that big of a deal. The posterior lens capsule is obviously far more important because that's very fragile. And at the side of that posterior polar opacity, you can have a break in the capsule very easily. But in this anterior polar opacity, even if the capsule is fragile there centrally, it doesn't matter because, look, when we get the capsule rexes done, that anterior capsule opacity is out. Now there's just a little bit of a cortical change there or a nuclear change of that polar opacity. But again, it's of no consequence. You can do the case routinely. So normal hydro dissection, everything else. So if you see a patient with an anterior polar cataract, there you go. Look at that polar opacity. Boop, just pops right out of the eye. And so if you have a posterior polar opacity, be very cautious. Watch the videos. Do it differently. Remember, but anterior polar opacity, it's really just a routine cataract case. Nothing out of the ordinary once you get that rex is done. So here, our surgeon, let's see, is using a chopper there to get the lens rotated. Very nicely done. I wish the lids were draped a little bit differently, but hey, we'll live with it. And now, buzzing of the phaco probe, chopper going around the equator, horizontal chop, beautiful chop, very nicely done. And another chop, very nicely done. So fantastic technique here. And again, the bottom line is that an anterior polar cataract is really not that big of a deal. It's not associated with any higher risks of capsule rupture because, again, that weak spot in the anterior lens capsule is being removed within the rexus. And so that makes it pretty straightforward. So the rest of the case is going to go very smoothly here. Nice little rotation here as well. Now, this patient must have a big brow because surgeon's sitting superiorly, and you can see there's a tendency for the eye to be kind of pushed down in the, you know, infraduction. And so that's probably because the patient has a big brow. So less of the rest of the lens comes out pretty easily, not too dense of a nucleus. Very nicely done. And then again, the rest is going to be straightforward. Normal cort cortical cleanup. You don't expect any posterior capsule issues here. So that posterior capsule should be uh, nice and strong and healthy. At this point, I would switch to the IA probe, but certainly if you're a very experienced surgeon, yes, you can remove cortex here with the phaco probe. Just be careful. And so nicely done here. And removing that, wow, cleaned up pretty nicely. Hey, check out our website. Got to leave YouTube for just a second. But cataractcoach.com, the website, you can sign up for a free daily email of the day. Get the video sent to you every day in the email. Why well, have to hunt for it? Also, free PDF book, our curriculum series. We're all over social media. And, of course, check out that amazing Cataract Coach podcast. You will love it, I promise. Now delivering the lens. Here comes the lens in the capsule bag. Nice and easy. Looks like a three-piece lens. Okay. I like that three-piece lens. Oh, it's flipping over the wrong way. You don't want that. There, good save. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Very nice. Get that lens in. And the lens is going totally in the capsule bag. And fantastic technique here. Now taking out the remainder of the viscoelastic. Again, wow, interesting case. No use of the eye probe at all. Hey, not needed. And so we've seen that before. Oh, be careful going under that lens with that phaco probe. But yeah, getting that removed pretty easily with the viscoelastic, and we'll call this a day. So again, we have an amazing teaching library now in Cataract Coach with more than 2,000 posts and videos. Everything's there. So if you have an unusual case coming up like anterior polar, well, just go type it in the cataractcoach.com search engine on that website. It'll come right up. Or posterior polar. got a whole ser series of these. Any unusual complicated case you have, odds are I got a great video for it. Anyway, check out the website too, please. End of the case here looks fantastic. See, look at the incisions. Beautifully done. So now you know, anterior polar cataract, it's just not that big of a deal. Routine case. Thanks for watching.